Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Uchi, and we are back once again. How y'all doing today? All right, it's it feels like it's been a lot longer than just two weeks, but we're back again once again. We're back at it at chapter 297, My Hero Academia. Like I said, maybe in the last video, if not, I'm gonna say it obviously right now. Pan does have some kind of like break period in the early start of the year. I feel like it's a golden week, and then I think then again, I feel like golden week happens maybe like twice a year for japan so i know and i've experienced it because it's they, they have one in around the may period like early may and then they they have what i think is right or had already had happened in january of like the new year so they pretty much the majority of the populace they basically don't have to work so that obviously applies to the mangaka and a lot of animes might have had a week off as well so we are now finally back into it and i'm looking at this picture and again we were pretty much on the like cool down portion of what arc we just came out of we might just be entering into some new territorial stuff so we're gonna have to see what comes out of this chapter so without further ado let's just get right all right, so this first page, it says Counter Quirk Maximum Security Special Prison, a.k.a. Tartarus. So this is where they're holding uh, one for all at, and, or all for one, excuse me. I, <laughs> I, always, I always mix those up. Uh, but anyway, here we go. So a detention facility constructed in the open waters about five kilometers from the mainland through uh, nomin this is really small, excuse me, nomin nominally a prison. Although nominally a prison, the facility effectively uh, serves as a dumping ground for individuals who threaten or have threatened public safety and security to a drastic extent, regardless of sentencing status. Uh, these individuals are in incarcerated and heavily monitored in Tartarus. As such, people with a wide range of quirks are locked within its walls and divided up among six cell blocks. Uh, depending on the danger... Uh, their quirks present or represent excuse me the, the the font in the text is so small like some of the words are kind of hard to make out sorry sorry about that and the severity of their cases the more dangerous the individual the deeper they're kept within the prison tartarus is the dark side of quirk society and it is said that anyone in prison there will never again emerge alive so of course right off the bat that is a divisive uh thing right there in in regards to storytelling and story writing sometimes you have to explain how drastic and how you know od something can be before you re before you realize or before we see something about to happen so obviously what can we deduce from this they horikoshi went out of his way to explain exactly what goes into this freaking prison and how like how secure and how serious they treat everything that happens or all the all the inmates that go in and you know that little that last part right there in prison will never ever emerge alive okay it tells you something obviously is and i'm pretty sure a lot of people are already probably said this predicted this but all for one definitely gonna make it out of here somehow right it, it seemed like he was already kind of trying to take over shigaraki and i don't know if they have that kind of connection yet but we'll see what happens so next page 8 34 p.m mainland gate aka the bronze gate so we have some security people up at like oh on a, on a watch on an overwatch give us a status report brarios uh gaijus gaijus here uh let's see Oh, looks like there's some kind of crash or something. It's like all these mecha triggered a code red security alert. Briarios is down. They've killed my brother. We need a code red now. Oh, crap. Something something terrible already happened. <gasps> How uninspiring. Here goes Shigaraki. Shigaraki got his decay. Oh, my goodness. Tartarius B10, deepest uh, stratum. I hear, I hear we're welcoming the big oaf to his new home tomorrow morning. Yeah, Gigantomachia, he's, he's old Mushface's goon, right? What, what, they couldn't kill that thing? Nope, guns are useless against a giant like him. And since he's human, they wouldn't just blow him to a bits with a missile. Few? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, human? Hardly. 
more like a disaster on legs or a wild beast just like the rest of the animals we've got locked up here cut it out you know we're being recorded the hearts and and mind party may be dissolved but it's factions won't let this golden chance pass them by and we've got our hands full with accusations of human rights violations you don't know where something will be leaked from you know i'm right though Uh uh-oh so they might walk and talk like people but these disgusting beings only managed to mingle with society as long as they did because quirks have warped our standards for humanity damn so these are so this is coming from the guards perspective so you can see how opinionated they are and we're getting a little glimpse at who we could potentially see make escapes now i feel like that might that could be its own arc right then and there like the not almost like how dragon ball super had the galactic prison arc right uh the galactic patrol prison arc my hero could have a prison arc right now like they might be gearing up for that right now where like all for one he literally uh (laughs) he literally is about to freaking break out and he might he might take some uh, a whole new crew with him look we see that looks like a female this and a bunch of other dudes right here so we'll, we'll have to see what happens now. What I want to know is, man, where is Stain been at? I'm, t- I'm I'm expecting Stain to make some kind of return at some point because it's been a minute since we've seen Stain. But anyway, let's keep reading. So Code Red Security Alert. Intruders detected. Code Red Security Alert. Now sealing off every floor. All staff be on high alert. The gate and after and after everything that's happened. What, t- what terrible timing. Wait, unless they came here after escaping. What the hell? The bridge is breaking. Bridge is being lowered. Kai is deploying. Okay, so that's intentional. Targeting the kill. Damn, they got mad precautions in play right here. What is this? Oh, snap. So Shigaraki is riding somebody. Like someone's flying him in right now. Is that a Nomu? It must be. I said that that this is my body, master. <clears throat> Oh, so, okay, so he is taking over Shigaraki. I fig- I figured, because, like, how else is, how else are they supposed to be doing this right now? So, anyway, so he's having, like, some kind of, like, conversation with him mentally. Awake now, are you? No, I'm prescribing a good long rest. The hyper-regeneration isn't working very well. I need you to be healthy. But... You're the one who said to give my body a break. Yes, after I do what I must. It's my body. Give it back. Oh, but wasn't it you who desired my power? Ay, 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 ay. So there's a conflict of interest here. Obviously, Shigaraki wants the power, but Shigaraki doesn't want to give full control. And obviously, One for All is being hella sus. And he's trying to... He overall is essentially acting like Orochimaru Loki because he is he's trying to use Shigaraki as a host as a, as a new body so that he can continue on with his plan which is actually OD which is I don't I, honestly I didn't really see this coming to be honest but that's pretty pretty dope in my in my regards because of you know I didn't see it coming at all so here we go you spat upon the world that didn't so much as extend a helping hand and you desired the strength to make good on your hatred. This is the result of your powerful will. You brought this all about, and isn't that what really matters? I won't be your stinking pawn. Pawn? You have it all wrong, Tomura. You're so very near and dear to me. After all, you're the next me. Ah, see? Confirmed. Boom. This man has always been destined, possibly, to be the next all for one. The guard tower just decayed into nothing. It's Shigaraki in the Nomu. All right, so that was a Nomu. Hmm, I've pinpointed my real body's location with search, but it's in the deepest level, about 500 meters below sea level. Damn, even if it decayed the structure while leaving my body untouched, the crushing water pressure would kill me. Furthermore, this incomplete body is coming apart. I require other villains. I, ooh, ooh, man, I I made these calls as soon as I seen them happening. Tartarus. How obnoxious. Bringing Maki along would have barely helped. Not when they have the resources to respond so decisively. And even if this new body had been perfected, invading from outside the prison would still be at a tall order. 
monitoring system down. We've been hit by some sort of EMP attack. System back up in three seconds. Wait, but how? The inmates should have no way of knowing the system's down. Oh, what's about to happen? Are, you, are they about to break out? We're about to see some breakouts? Even I would have a tough time struggling against the particular God. This particular God. Oh, and then they show an All Might. No, you can't get all get out at all. You were mostly right, All Might. That is, unless my operation both inside and out was coordinated and in sync. <gasps> oh my god, all the doors from all of the other inmates broke as if through a shared awareness. Since I'm not coming back up, the cell blocks are unlocking from the inside. Suppression squads move in, subjugate inmates in all cell blocks. Regulations state that any inmate who steps through the door must be... Uh oh fire, fire! They're shooting! Like, oh, yo, look who it is. Yo, we haven't seen this dude in forever. Like, those fee shooters could kill me. Now, where's the exit out of this hell? I'm bound for a paradise. Yo, all right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I forget this dude's name, but I feel like, this, okay, so this is the dude with the muscle, with the muscle power where he could, like, just, he could just enlarge his muscles. I'm pretty sure he's in Once Justice um, as a playable character, at least in Once Justice 2. Um, but that's, that's crazy. Like, oh, actually, it's like all these people that we actually haven't seen in a long ass time, actually. Look at that. Damn, just when flesh. I remember this guy. He had some, he had like weird teeth quirk where his teeth like, ugh, it, it, it's disgusting. The system isn't responding to quirks. What's the world coming to? All right, so I don't know who this is. This is inmate 656, ah, that's a really small, 656698, I'm guessing. All right, they open the door. Boss. Wait a sec. We ain't going anywhere without the bridge. Oh, give me a break. I'm dying to set foot in the world of the free and living. If it's freedom you desire, then submit to me, my brethren, and bear witness by my side. Shigaraki. Oh, my God. He's out. The impending void era will give rise to a more perfect demon lord. This will be the story of how I become the greatest demon lord of all time. <laughs> Yo, okay. So check this out. All right, so that's the end, obviously the end of the chapter right here, okay? So <laughs> naturally, uh, this is basically how I saw it coming, okay? Just from the beginning of how they, the, 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 the setting of this entire chapter started, and how it started with, how, uh, you know, the explanation of how the prison worked out. Tartara or whatever, right? This, this, this prison is on a whole nother level. They had to explain how secure it was, how people that tried to ever escape would not make it out alive. Which means that they had precautions to literally shoot on sight if they see anybody going, okay? And that, you know, I guess that's totally whatever, right? That's, it is what it is. But at the same time, let's not forget that uh, that they're they're housing one of the most threatening villains of all time. And I also want to point out that this is really cool because we're actually seeing some villains that we haven't seen since probably like like the first few arcs of My Hero Academia. Period. I mean, we're we're literally on the cusp of three hundred chapters for My Hero Academia, and. They, like this whole this whole villain situation is just just escalating and in, and in, in getting more like crazier and crazier and it, it's interesting to see how exactly uh this this whole relationship between all for one and Shigaraki is gonna play out. So whether or not we believe that Shigaraki will eventually turn on one for all at, at some point in time, there's gonna have there's gonna be a struggle of power at some point. Just and and I could see it kind of happening right now already. Like we're the seeds are already being planted is what I'm trying to say. And the simple fact is that the entire plan and I should have really seen this coming because one for all, all right, since the beginning he has literally kept his cool the entire time, even while while being incarcerated, put, getting thrown into this prison at the lowest level, 500 meters below sea level. Let's think about that. Like if they if 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 they was to break him out or try to like break him out from underneath, the water level, the pressure would just destroy him right then and there. Right. So the fact that he was he, he was he was kept in that solidarity throughout all this time, you could tell he had a plan. 
obviously villain the great greatest villains the great the great ones always have a great uh, like all all these plans in place and obviously the biggest plan aside from him just trying to you know achieve his total greatness and being the the biggest demon lord now i guess is what they're calling it they don't want to refer to them as the greatest villain of all time they want he wants to become the greatest demon lord okay so with that he is obviously trying to pull an orochimaru here and obviously and this is this is kind of this is like this brings a level of of um of, of humanistic or uh, a level of humanism to the fray because these the all of these all of these characters right quirk quirk quirkless or with quirks right they they it's it, it's showing me that how um how how human they can be at the end of the day because like like you know a, a, after you know you can have some of the greatest quirks of all time but as time progresses at some point, everybody dies, right? And that's, un that's an unfortunate truth. This dude is trying to avoid that, like other many villains and other series before him have. And it's crazy how they're doing it here. And the thing is, Shigaraki is not just, you know, fully submitting to that. He is showing signs of not wanting to. So that's why I'm also questioning if and when, more, more emphasis on the, the when, he turns on 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 one for all but will he have another plan up his sleeve when that happens i'm sure he does i'm sure he does because you know one for all is od right one for all is definitely od so either way this was a great chapter it's a great uh comeback after you know a two week break pretty much uh for my hero academia 298 um should be uh right on schedule to release um next week so you definitely expect these to continue being uh, weekly reactions all right and of course guys make sure that you are sticking around make sure you join in the uchi gang discord make sure you are following on twitter make and, and uh, above all else make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves you may have power protect keep a lock loader right here on this channel stay safe stay clean and stay the hell inside i'll see y'all next time